In this video I'm going to show you how uh, the floor plan AI tool in Heatbox can be used to uh, determine the dimensions of rooms in a fast and easy way. So to start we click uh, the start button and here we need to upload uh, a screenshot um, of a floor plan of a building and so the first thing we need to do is uh, make a screenshot. So let's open an example of a floor plan and uh, what we do is uh, we try to zoom in as much as possible, like this. And then we can use the snipping tool in Windows. We can just uh, look for the snipping tool. So this is installed in all Windows uh, computers. <coughs> and then we can say uh, new. And we can just uh, take our screenshots like this. And then uh, we can save this image and uh, upload it to, uh, to Heatbox. So uh, let's try and do that. So let's use this image. The default height of the windows, I'm going to show you in a moment where we use this number. So by default it's uh, 250 centimeters, but uh, maybe let's change this to uh, 160. And the default floor height is uh, 2.4 meters. Let's uh, just keep it at 2.4. So then we click uh, the next button. And now we have to uh, draw a reference measurement over one of the dimensions. It's always best to uh, use one of the bigger dimensions. So let's uh, use, for example, this one. So what we do is uh, we just uh, click one time at the beginning of the measurements and then uh, a second time at the end. And we can use this uh, yellow dotted line to make sure that the line is horizontal. And then uh, we have to enter the length, so it's uh, 5 to 8.8 .8, uh, centimeters. And then at the end we just uh, hit enter to uh, confirm the dimension of this uh, reference, me reference measurement. And then uh, we click the start button and uh, then we see the spinner. So it can take a while <coughs> depending on how big the image is. So what happens is the AI algorithm um, looks at every pixel in the image and determine whether this bit pixel can be part uh, of, uh, of a wall. Uh, so walls is uh, red lines, green is for doors and yellow is for windows. So uh, the model looks uh, for example at this uh, type of hatching and then it knows that this is part of, uh, of a wall. Uh, for doors it looks at uh, this uh, this uh, type of uh, drawing and then it knows it's, uh, it's a door and for the window it's uh, something similar to uh, what is drawn here that we know it's, uh, it's a window. But uh, usually there's some, uh, some lines we have to add or change uh, manually. So for example this internal door was not detected uh, correctly so uh, we can draw a green line for the internal door but we don't really have to. Uh, so uh, to determine the surface areas of the of the rooms, uh, we can also just uh, use a red line uh, for internal doors. So let's do that, and we can snap to the endpoints of lines automatically. So let's do that, and then uh, here we need to uh, uh, basically snap along a line, and that's not done automatically. So we can only snap automatically to endpoints, but not along lines. To snap along a line, you just uh, hit the control button and then you can also snap along a line. So uh, now let's uh, draw the red line like this. And to exit the drawing of walls, we just hit the ex escape uh, button. Um, here we also have to draw another uh, wall. These uh, lines are part of a built-in closet and let's just delete them. So let's say that they are part of the hallway. So we just uh, select the lines, press the delete button to delete them. Um, and then here we also need to change uh, some of the uh, windows here. So uh, let's first draw this small part. Let's uh, maybe make this a little bit more, a uh, little bit smaller, and then uh, let's uh, draw the window <coughs> and uh, also the the door. So now we're done, and then uh, we can click uh, the restart button to detect rooms again. So now we've detected our rooms correctly. Uh, the only thing, uh, uh, or there are two things uh, we still need to do. So the first thing is the height of the windows. So 
because we know this uh, the length of this reference measurement we also know the lengths of all the other uh, lines on this drawing and this way we can calculate the surface areas of all the rooms uh, so we also know the width of the window but not the height so the 160 centimeters is the height of the window and maybe uh, so the 160 was the default height uh, for the windows so we see 160 for all the windows but maybe this window is not 160 maybe it's uh, 140 centimeters so we, then we can just click on it and change this uh, manually uh, next thing we need to do is um, uh, give every room a name so we can select one of the predefined names like this 2.4 is the height of the, um, the the room and this is the type of room so here we have to select a type from uh, from this drop down uh, menu so in this case uh, let's not choose from the predefined list but just say that this uh, this is a diner and uh, yeah let's say that this is also a living room here we have a hallway uh, or an entrance and this is the toilet so um, then we're done and then we can click this uh, calculate button and this will show us this table where we see the room names the surface areas of the rooms the average heights and the type of room the length of the external uh, wall uh, length of the party wall adjacent to other building but in this case there is no uh, party wall and this is the surface area of the windows so what we can do now is just uh, copy this data and then uh, we go to the heat load calculation at the room level so we can just uh, click the start button um, and to make a heat load calculation at the room level we have to answer some questions and uh, how to answer this, these questions are uh, we discussed in another video you can click on this button to, uh, to see the instruction video for this tool but here we're more concerned about this table so uh, to add the, uh, the dimensions of the rooms um, we just have to say that we want to add four rooms and uh, we can just uh, click on the first cell and then uh, hit ctrl V on our keyboard and then we paste uh, the data we got from the floor plan AI tool. So the name of the room, surface area, <coughs> the height of the room, type of room. The type of the room also determines uh, the temperature of the room, but uh, we can change this uh, manually if we want to. So maybe uh, the living room or the diner is uh, 21 degrees. Uh, the length of the external wall, uh, length of the party wall and surface area of the window. Uh, so the only thing we still need to add manually is the boundaries of the floor and the ceiling so let's say that the boundary of the ground floor is ground and the boundary of the ceiling is in the other room and then we can draw, just draw out uh, these cells or draw down these cells just like uh, we would, have, would do with the, an excel and then we can hit the calculate button and this will calculate the heat loads for the different uh, rooms if we do this for all the floors uh, we can also calculate the heat loads at building level I'm going to show you in a moment how we can uh, do that so uh, this is a uh, first example let's also look at a second example so uh, let's uh, restart and uh, choose another image let's leave the default height for the window at 250 and the default height of the, uh, the rooms at 240 and so we click next then let's select this uh, measurement and we say it's uh, 360 centimeters and then we hit enter to confirm and then we click the start button so again this can take uh, a couple of uh, seconds depending on uh, how big the image is and uh, again it looks like it does a fairly good job but uh, there are some parts we need to change a little bit so uh, for example this part it's uh, detect the door and two small windows maybe it's a little bit uh, better to just uh, make it one big window so uh, let's draw out one uh, yellow line like this and then here this is not a separate room uh, so uh, let's just uh, delete these lines this part as well um, if the uh, names of the rooms are bothering you you can always uh, make them invisible 
like this. And then here, this is also not a separate room, so let's delete these lines. And these lines are not correct. So uh, we need to redraw this a little bit. And uh, for internal walls, we also always try to draw them in the middle of the wall. And uh, to snap along a line again, we have to push the control button and then we can snap along a line. Um, so for internal walls, we try to draw them in the middle, and for external walls, we draw them at the uh, at the inside of the internal external wall. Um, and then we're done here. So uh, we can click restart to detect rooms, make the room names visible. Where necessary, you can uh, change the height of the window. Maybe uh, make it uh, 150 centimeters. And uh, we need to change uh, the names of the rooms. So let's uh, call this the lounge. This is the entrance. This is a toilet. This is a dining room. The kitchen. And maybe this is a storage area. And then we can click the calculate button to uh, calculate the surface areas and all the other data uh, we need. So again, we can copy this data, paste it in the heat load calculation and make our heat load calculation. Um, so let's look at the last example. So it's also possible to use um, building plans from right move. In most cases, uh, if you have something like this, uh, then it's possible to use this uh, building plan. So first thing we do is uh, zoom in a little bit uh, as much as we can and uh, make a screenshot. And then uh, we can upload this to a, a heat box. So let's select our screenshot. <coughs> uh, default height of the window, let's uh, make it uh, 140. And uh, default floor height, let's leave it at uh, 2.4. Uh, so let's go to the next step. So in a lot of cases, in these type of building plans, there will not be any dimension on the plan. So what we can do is uh, use the width of the door. So usually it's about uh, 90 centimeters. And then uh, we can use this as a reference measurement. So uh, we click the start button. And then again, we have to wait a couple of seconds. And uh, here again, there are some lines we have to change manually. So uh, this line is not correct. Also this window is a little bit bigger. So uh, we need to change this. So let's draw this. Out a little bit and let's add a window so the better the quality of the, the the plans the better job the AI algorithm will do so usually the prints from right move are not that good of a quality so you will have to change manually uh, yeah you will have to do a little bit more changes uh, here also the windows we need to redo them a little bit um, so Let's zoom in and change this a little bit. Let's add the windows. And then uh, the wall. What I usually do is uh, put one point at every cross section. So uh, here I'm gonna uh, put a point and then uh, close this uh, wall. Then hit escape to uh, uh, exit the red line. And then uh, um, because I put this point here, it's easier to snap to it. So now I'm just, I can just snap to it. And if I want to snap here, uh, I need to push the control button and I can snap along the line as well. Again, escape button. Here uh, is also some line missing. This line is not really necessary, so we can delete this. Uh, this is drawn. Uh, not in a correct way, so let's put a new wall in. Let's try and make it straight. And the last thing we need to do is uh, draw this uh, window again. So let's delete uh, these uh, lines. Then uh, we add a little red line. And uh, you could draw two separate windows and then uh, so two yellow lines and a green line, green line for the, for the door. But uh, let's make it a little bit easier and just uh, make it one big uh, window like this. Um, and then we can click the restart button. 
So now we uh, detected all our uh, rooms correctly. Um, and maybe I forgot this external door, so let's add it as well. So uh, first two red lines. And then uh, let's add a green line. So now again we start. Uh, next step is to uh, um, choose the correct room names. So let's say that these are two bedrooms. Um, this is a bathroom. This is a corridor, for example. This is a toilet. And maybe a bathroom. Oh no, this is a small storage area, I think. Yes, like this. Um, and then um, we can press the calculate button and we have all the dimensions of the different rooms. So in this case we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rooms. So we can copy all the data, go to the uh, calculation at the room level. Let's maybe refresh. Let's say we have uh, seven rooms, paste our data. Um, boundary of the floor is, for example, ground floor. Ceiling boundary is a loft floor. Then we draw down uh, both cells and we press the calculate button. So here we have the heat loads at the uh, room level. And if we say that all rooms of the building have been entered, we also see the heat loads at, uh, at building level. So in this way, it's uh, much easier, faster to do uh, your heat load calculations.